Look, we, we obviously didn't play our best. Um, you know, gave them a couple extra outs there. Um, so, so that's frustrating. But no, you know, any loss, especially when you, you know, fight back to grab it and, and grab the lead, is difficult. But that's part of it too. And we'll turn the page and, and try and salvage one tomorrow. It looked like I believe it was the fifth inning. Gio Urshela was going to make a, a great mm -hmm. play from third base. It takes a weird hop. If that's yeah. not on the turf, do you think that's possibly an out there? Yeah, possibly. I mean, it was a great play, obviously, by Gio, and and I think Luke realized, you know, if it's true they're going to get them. But once it hops like it did, you know, obviously it, it, it put them in a dif difficult spot. And, um, so, you know, we weren't quite able to complete that one, but a great effort by Gio. Seventh, it looked like he was hobbling a little bit, or Shella, that is, after Teosco Hernandez went from second to third on the air. It looked like he was what? He was hobbling a little bit. It looked like he slid into him. Uh, right. I, I, I got to check on him. I didn't I didn't get anything from, from in the game, that, uh, but we'll see how he's doing after here. Zach Britton had been so good for you the entire month of May, for the most part. You look at that situation with Vlad Guerrero Jr. there. Is that a matter of a, a good hitter just going down and getting one, or do you think the pitch yeah. could have been better? I mean, well, you look at the pitch, but sometimes, you know, the other guys are good, too. And and Britt's been so good, you know, so dominant, really. Um, you know, a, a good hitter got one on him, and uh, simple as that. And but but the way Britt's throwing the ball, and I thought continued to throw the ball tonight. Um, you know, we know he's in a really good place. With Paxton, what did you see from him? Um, thought he was pretty good. Um, you know, I think he wanted to get the the grit at Comer. You know, where he's trying to drive it in, you know, that kind of up and in lane that he does and, and left it on the plate a little bit. And he's strong and, and was able to, you know, get get enough barrel to it to ride it out. Um, thought he did tire a little bit there towards the end as he kind of got up against that pitch limit we we're probably going to stick with. But overall, I thought he threw the ball through the ball pretty well. All right, so the way you home run makes it 7-4 on where your bullpen has been throwing. Are you at that point thinking we're good? Of course, yeah. And and you know, I mean, it's part of the game. Even even the best of of pens, it's it's going to happen every now and then. You're going to have the blip, and you know, uh, tip your cap, they got us tonight. But um, you know, obviously, feel great about all those guys down there and the way they're throwing the ball. I guess in particular with Cessna, what, what have you noticed with him? I guess he's just missing over the plate too much. Yeah, and you know, he's been coming in, and getting behind a little bit in the count. Um, so I think. You know, being on the, the attack, getting strike one, whether it be with his slider or to righties, you know, with the two seam fastball that he can he can do, you know, he's come in even when he's been successful of late and, and kinda gotten behind in the count a little too much. Well maybe now I think it's twenty four for fifty one with runners in scoring position this year. Is that a number that just is kind of the same? <laughs> That's pretty good. Um, obviously great hitter and a guy we love up in in, in any spot and, um, you know, to come up there, Law, who's a pretty good slider against against a righty there, um, you know, obviously was a huge hit at the time for us. Hicks okay. It seemed like he got up a little slow from that one that he tried to make. Yeah, yeah I mean, I'll, I'll check with him, obviously, again, uh, make sure he's good to go, but um, I think he's okay.